Hello folks, welcome to this new video, Andrew here. Today we're going to make a drag and drop tutorial on Godot. Yeah, it's Godot in Jane. I think everyone knows how to make a drag and drop tutorial, but basically we're going to make it cool. We're going to avoid that annoying jump effect on when we click something. I have here my project and basically if I create a task or something, I can basically click and move it everywhere. And now let's go on my Godot engine project. And here I'm going to show you what do I mean with the jump effect. Here we have these subtasks here. And when I click here, you see, it's going to have a jump. Here it's going to have a jump. Again, it's going to have a jump. This is what we're going to achieve. When we click the object, it moves, it uh, it preserves the distance, it doesn't jump, and most important, it, it rises up. And we have this thing, and we're going to create this thing right now. Okay, before we even start, what do I have on my project? I have a panel. It's just a panel. Now, this kind of thing, the drag and drop in general, can work with areas, area 2D or 3D, or it can work with control type nodes. So basically I have a panel that is a control type node and let's see how did I manage my, my object here. Basically I have a panel and inside of this panel I have a script. This panel in the top, that is the parent actually, it's going to be our, our click detector. Okay, what we're going to do right now is just to create a new script. Okay guys, now, I'm starting with a script that has some variables that are exported. This is just to make sure to give some color to our, uh, to our nodes when everything starts, when everything is initialized. Everything here is just exporting color. We can choose these colors here and basically I can make sure that everything has the same color Okay, what happens is that I give to my panel some color and it works this way. Basically, I randomize uh, because I need to randomize the seed that every time it starts, it has a different seed. So basically, it, it gives me different numbers in different, or, in different order. And inside this variable, my color just, I, I have a range, random range between zero and six. But this kind of function just gives me a float value and I convert it into an integer. And basically here I just matched my color and I set my modulate to, to the color basically. Now to make sure that we detect the click inside this area basically we need to get two infos, two signals. So mouse entered and we're going to connect that and we need as well mouse exit. Now we need a variable here and this variable is going to be, I call it var drag ready and this means that by default this is going to be a false value and what happens is that when mouse goes inside of the area we're going to set this variable to true so basically drag ready is going to be true and when the mouse is out from the area clickable area we're going to set drag ready drag ready false this way we detect if the mouse is located inside the panel here inside this square now we need two variables another two variables and these variables are going to be my click position and the other one is going to be my distance i'm going to set the distance just to a vector 2 and inside I'm going to set 0, 0 just to make sure that we don't get errors. We're going to check if mouse click is happening. The first thing that you need to do is to go to your input map and set your left mouse to be clicked. And I just called it left mouse click. And here I'm going to check if input is actually just pressed left mouse click here and here I'm going to check as well and drag ready my click position is going to be get global mouse position mouse position and the distance is going to be equals to 
get position minus my click position. This is going to be our distance. Now we're going to start the real drag and drop thing. And the real drag and drop thing is going to be only if the mouse is being pressed. Input that is action pressed. This time left mouse click. We need drag and drag ready as well. This time we're going to set position. Okay, and this position is going to be to equal to our global mouse position plus plus the distance. Now we're, we're good to go. These are all everything we need to actually make work this thing. So if you see right now, so basically it starts working very well. I click, it doesn't jump and it, it remembers the position we clicked and just, just have the same distance between the click and the, the new position. It has a good click, it works pretty well, but the thing that it's pretty bad is actually that under the, the other panels. So if I want to bring this up, how do I do that? Just by using this little, this little thing here, this little method, just raise and it's going to raise it in the three and it's going to work pretty well. So basically if I click, it comes up, it comes up and no more behind the, the others. So basically this is it. Okay guys, hopefully you found this uh, interesting and hopefully this helps you on making better projects and better drag and drop. And um, remember just to keep the distance between mouse click and the actual position of the node. So just to remember that and just use rise to rise the position of the node inside the, the node three. So this is all. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment down below if you have any issues or if you have any kind of tutorial you want to know or if I can help, I'm going to help. And lately I've been doing some live streams. They are in Italian, but if you want in English, I can speak in English as well. So come on my Twitch and say hi. <laughs> so subscribe and see you soon. And more important, keep making games, guys. <laughs>